Here are four ways to protect your home from lawsuits. I'm excited to hear about them, Colin. Well, I'm glad you are. I scribbled down some notes on little stickies right here. All right, so let's throw out four common ways you can protect your home from a lawsuit. And this is something that we see a lot of times. This is something that people are very worried about. Say something happens, car accident, any yeah. number of things. Any number of things. They want to make sure that they have a place to live. They have shelter over their heads. They can't lose their home. And this is, I think, particularly a concern in these areas where homes are a huge part of a lot of people's net worth, like California, Seattle. It's crazy how much they're worth these days. And can you imagine getting kicked out and living on the streets? That would no. be a real bummer. <laughs> it would be a bummer. Nobody yeah. likes to sleep in their car. Well. No. Please? No. Okay. Still <laughs> hoping to get that van someday. All right, so four ways. Shreya, number four I'm going with. Okay. Is the one that we don't see a lot of people talking about. This is unique for us. It's just being nice. We've talked about this before. Yeah. Uh, there's like, there's studies out there. That's all I'm going to say. That's my citation that mm -hmm. show that, you know, if you show compassion, empathy to people who have been wronged or maybe they haven't been wronged, but they think they've been wronged that you could avoid litigation, conflict, if you just are nice to them. There's many examples. I think yeah. the one we talked about before was a woman who lost her eyeball uh, mm -hmm. when she got hit with a, a golf ball at a golf course. And she ended up suing or said she was going to sue because nobody ever asked her how she was doing. It wasn't even, she didn't even want them to say sorry. They just wanted someone to be like, hey, how you doing? Sorry, your eyeball exploded. Right. <laughs> Oh, there's another one too. Oh, there's like studies that show doctors are so much, and probably lawyers too, are so much less likely to be sued if they spend an extra like 10 seconds or 30 seconds just talking to their patients. Just like, hey, how you doing? Tell me about yourself. That like reduces the risk of a malpractice lawsuit by any number I make up is made up, but a significant portion. And all you have to do is just kind of be nice. Be a nice person. You're a nice person, Shreya. Thanks. All right, so number three is insurance. All right, that's always the first step in asset protection planning, protecting yourself from lawsuits, so. And not just insurance, but the right kind of insurance. Yeah, so you know, think of your car accident liability, your homeowners, and then also your umbrella policy. Yeah. That's like a really cheap insurance that could protect you if there's a claim mm -hmm. made above the amount of your car policy or homeowners, renters policy. A lot of our clients and the people that we talk to are also landlords. So having that landlord insurance. Number two is reducing the equity in your home. How about that? Because Ooh, it's- I like this one. It's not your- It's strategery. It's not your physical home somebody wants, it's the equity, it's the value of it. They wanna take the home, sell it, your whatever's left on your mortgage, they get paid. Whatever's left, that's called your equity. And that can be sold for cash. So yeah, if you cash money, baby. So if you don't have any equity in your home, then nobody's going to be able to take your home from you, or they're not going to want to take your home because there's no payoff for them to go through all the steps of taking your home, kicking you out, selling it at auction. Um, so the ways that people reduce the equity or protect the equity, one, you might have a homestead exemption where you live. Maybe the your state protects your home. Looking at you, Texas. Yeah, Florida. Um, but you know, if you live somewhere else, like, you know, Washington, there's only 125,000. Only? Protected, yeah. So it doesn't even buy you like a quarter of a house here. Right. <laughs> so if you've got more than amount, in equity, you can do things to reduce it, like um, home equity loans, that sort of thing. So less equity you have in your home, the less likely or more protected your house is from lawsuits. How about that, Shreya? I like it. We're moving into number one. Number one. Putting your house in an asset protection trust. What? You can do that? You sure can do that. The mortgage company can't stop you. Oh, I like that. Asset protection trust provides the highest level of protection after all these other things that we've mentioned. You know, if the insurance doesn't stop it, if there's a lot of equity, um, I mean, even like our PREP trust, which is an asset protection trust, the PREP stands for personal residence and estate preservation trust. So 
Oh. It's got your home in the title. Mm -hmm. um, so that's another way that you can create a huge barrier between you and your home and any potential creditors or lawsuits. Mm -hmm. Whew. I'm like winded. I like it. Cool. Anything else to add, Shreya? I have nothing else to add. That's great. Yeah. Well, thanks for following along. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button right now.